It is the 19th of the 10th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Been sick, um, but I'm better now. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? Wavering El Nino complicates NOAA's winter forecast. This is off of SOT.net. NOAA releases elusive El Nino challenges uh, NOAA's 2012 U.S. winter outlook. The western half of the, the continental United States and central and northern Alaska could be in for a warmer than average winter. While most of Florida might be colder than normal December through February, according to uh, NOAA's annual winter outlook announced today from the agency of the new uh, Center for Weather and Climate Prediction in College Park, Maryland. Uh, where's the meat of it? Here we go. This is one of the most challenging outlooks we've produced in recent years because El Nino decided not to show up as expected. Said uh, Mike Halpert, Deputy Director of NOAA's Climate Prediction Center. In fact, it stalled out last month. It stalled out last month, leaving neutral conditions in places in the tropical Pacific. Hmm, strange things going on indeed in the Pacific Ocean, huh? Global warming, where are you? Question mark. Yet another paper demonstrates warmer temperatures a thousand years ago and even two thousand years ago. So some interesting reads there. United Kingdom's year of drought and flooding unprecedented. We've been having a lot of unprecedented uh, lately. Their experts are saying now, the scale of drought recovering in 2012 has not seen has not been seen before, says uh, Center for Ecology and Hydrology. The dramatic switch from drought and uh, hosepipe bans in England this spring to the wettest April to June ever, widespread flooding was a magnitude never seen before. And uh, if you do live in the Great Britain North um, European area, you know how crazy the weather really has been for you. A blustery storm system sweeps through Arkansas and Mississippi. Tornadoes leave thousands without power. Uh, these are not unheard of. Some pretty strong storms for this time of year. Powerful winds leave thousands without power in the Denver area. It could be midday Thursday before electricity is restored to everyone who lost power in the Denver area after powerful winds. Uh, says the blackout affected 50,000 customers in the Denver, Fort Collins, and Greenlee starting around 10 p.m. Tuesday. Mount Kilauea Volcano Lake, uh, the lava lake, reaches its highest level uh, recorded. And they're saying since it started going up in 2008, uh, the, the lava lake hasn't been as high as it is right now. It's a very active volcano. It's pretty nonstop. Rail lines close for the second time as floods hit uh, Cumbria. Commuter hell as flood chaos sweeps through Dublin, Ireland and Cork. And of course, uh, 6.0 magnitude earthquake uh, in the Philippines. And a 4.0 in Maine, which caused a unusual event in a nuclear reactor. I will be covering that story Loud boom and shaking reported in Bay Area as fireball streaks across the sky. A bright fireball reportedly with hues of red and orange streaked across the night sky visible from San Francisco Bay Area on Wednesday, October 18th around 8 p.m. local time. Many say they heard a boom which was so loud it shook their homes. Some residents said making them think it may be an earthquake. Uh, Belmont, California astronomer Wes Jones captured a fireball as it sailed across the sky. And here we go. Main earthquake prompts unusual event at Seabrook nuclear power plant. An unusual event indeed. The 4.0 magnitude earthquake that rumbled across uh, seacoast and beyond Tuesday evening triggered normal safety protocols at the Seabrook station on nuclear power plants. And we all know the story. Don't worry folks. Everything's completely under control. A third earthquake rattles Dominican Republic South region. Um, this is close to the Port au Prince Haiti big earthquake where they're still living in U, uh, UN FEMA camps. 
And uh, if you want to see what's really going on in the FEMA camps, uh, definitely check out what's going on in Port-au-Prince, Haiti right now, going on three years later. And a uh, new study, tropical cyclones are occurring more frequently than before. Uh, let's go ahead and go over to E&E News. A lot of things going on today. Fukushima fire, nearly twice as big as originally reported. Photo of firefighters extinguishing blaze. Uh, apparently they had a big grass fire in between number one and number two. Um, of course, everything's completely under control. And uh, Jesus. Nuclear engineer, new way to locate Fukushima molten fuel. Quote, means they're expecting to find this stuff very deep into the ground. Unless it's just an experiment. So apparently um, they're putting these detectors around uh, that detect uh, the cosmic rays that, that bombard us all, all day, every day. And uh, what the corium does is it absorbs these rays and it creates a shadow kind of thing. So uh, they're trying to, trying to do this to detect exactly where the corium is under uh, these reactors. And you've got to remember we've got three nuclear reactors in full meltdown, melt through. And uh, as much as they try to hide, it's out of containment and into the Pacific Ocean. Nuclear-funded Obama on nuclear-sponsored Daily Show. Nuclear forgotten as component in energy future. Oil, gas, wind, solar, all mentioned. Same as in debates, but not a word about nuclear energy because uh, it's a pretty big taboo right now. All I can say is... GE, we bring good things to live in. Smoke from Fukushima Diachi fire visible on webcam footage, and they caught some webcam of that grass fire. And uh, again, fire Fukushima Diachi over 4,000 square feet affected near reactor buildings. Oil expert, this is out of the Gulf of Mexico. I remain skeptical they found source of BP crude oil in the Gulf. <laughs> Me too. Feds, oil and gulf leaking from BP's containment dome, not Monsanto well. Samples sent for matching analysis. Seafloor inspection for seepage, not mentioned. You won't believe this, quote unquote. U.S. No nuclear Regulatory meets to discuss 80 year licenses for old reactors. Do you enjoy driving your 80 year old car? 80 year? Oh my. Yeah, da, da, da. New Fairfield's video shows what happens to a radioactive sample when it is received at the lab. Tips on taking your own samples that can hold up in court. And, uh, quote, this is the worst we've ever seen. Halls of shrimp and crab, small or non existent in Gulf Town, hit by BP oil. Quote, getting worse and worse. I'm telling you all that fish is contaminated with um, Corexit and oil and God knows what else. Um, I would not eat seafood out of any of the oceans right now. <sighs> the insanity continues and continues. Radioactive beef over cesium limit from cow raised far outside Fukushima as Fukushima beef shipments to the United States resume this week. And, uh, Kyoto, if we find where the molten nuclear fuel is located, it will give us a clue, says researcher. Detectors to locate corium already placed uh, near the reactors 1 and 2 in May by Los Alamos Lab. And, uh, there's some stories over on Fukushima Diary I wanted to cover. Um, there are a bunch going on here, but I'm going to cover three real quick. Radiation level keeps going up in Tokyo and uh, Kanagawa area. A few hours ago, Fukushima Diary reported an increase in radiation levels in Tokyo. It still keeps going up, and the same trends is seen in uh, Kanagawa, too. Fukushima government rounded off 102.8 becquerels per kilogram from rice to 100 becquerels per kilogram and sold it. Why are they allowing these farmers even to produce these crops, let alone harvest them? You know some crook's going to grab them no matter how dirty they are, and they're going to get out, and somebody's going to end up eating this crap. The insanity, it's just insane. And here's a great one I'm going to leave you with tonight. 
Uh, Japan rejected signing to ban nuclear weapons in the United Nations. In the United Nations General Assel Assembly in New York, 16 nations, including Switzerland and Norway, made the statement to ban nuclear weapons for humanity. But Japan rejected signing on the statement it is because the Japanese national security depends on the nuclear deterrent to include American nuclear capability. Uh, I think they failed to mention, as I reported months ago, uh, that the CIA has been helping the Japanese government produce a secret nuclear uh, weapons program since the 60s. And uh, this has all been declassified. Feel free to, to go back and check it out for yourself. Um, so, uh, anyway, uh, it's good to be back. I should be around a while. We'll see what's going on. Enjoy while you can. I sure am. Thanks, everybody.